Now, How to Spot is available as a free download. There's a free demo from the howdo.com website. Installation is pretty straightforward. It just comes down as a zip file that you unzip, and then you have your application, which you drag across to your application folder. But I've already installed How to Spot, and I've got it running. So let me just pop up the main panel. Now, if you're used to How to Spot already, you'll notice that uh, things have changed. As I say, they've rewritten it now for Leopard, and the user interface is now contained in a single panel. Uh, on the left-hand side, you have the criteria panel, and then on the right-hand side, all your different results. Now, if you're not familiar with How to Spot, don't be intimidated by all the different buttons in the criteria panels. The nice thing with How to Spot is that it does allow you to either do very simple searches or really use the power of Spotlight and do some quite complex searches as well, but it's entirely within your control. And we'll go through all these different sections as we go through the screencast. Another thing to point out as well is that there are shortcuts to this particular search panel. Uh, there are templates, there are predefined searches, there are keyboard shortcuts that you can use. Uh, there's even integration with Finder and also integration with uh, LaunchBar if you're a LaunchBar user. And there's also a new menu item. But as I say, we'll go through all these options as we go through the package. So let's start off by looking at the new criteria panel. Now, this main panel here on the left is the main panel where you construct your query uh, to access the Spotlight data. And don't forget, Who to Spot doesn't replace Spotlight. Um, it actually uses the underlying Spotlight libraries and search technology. It just gives you a new, more powerful front end to Spotlight. Now, the criteria panel is split into four different sections. You have the What section. So this is where you define what it is that you want to search for. Uh, the Where section, and that allows you to specify uh, different locations where you want the search to take place. There's a new option to exclude things from your searches. So you can actually specify particular directories or folders that you want to exclude from the search, and a new limit section whereby you can limit the number of results, uh, which does help with performance as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the what panel first. So it can be something quite as simple as just saying a name contains. Now I know I've got some files that have got uh, the word light within them. Now you'll notice I've typed in my uh, search term, but I've not got any results back as of yet. And that's because how to spot works differently to spotlight in that spotlight rather crazily, I think, goes away and starts bringing you back results as soon as you start typing things in. But uh, How to Spot is more intelligent in that it waits until you've finished completing your search term, and then it allows you to, uh, to run the search query. So I can either hit Return, or I can hit the uh, Run button up here in the top corner to start the query. Okay, so that's found 11 files. It's found a various, various files. It's found um, a plist file, some JPEG images, some Safari history items and pages, etc. Now, this is just a standard query on the name. And if we look in the Word panel, we'll see that it's actually gone to the user home folder. If I wanted to extend the search to different locations, I can just click this button. I can say local volumes and user home. So that will just include additional volumes connected to this Mac. And there we go. It's found at 237 files. Now, another thing you'll notice is that result happened uh, pretty much immediately. And that's because we've still got the query running while this button is showing red. Um, we're actually running the query in real time. So if things actually change, uh, we'll get the results back straight away. If you want to stop that, we can just switch it off and then switch it back on and it will run the query for us. Let's go back to our home directory. Now, because we're searching in the user's home folder, um, it's actually searching the library folder as well. And the library folder is really somewhere that applications use to put application-specific information, not necessarily stuff that you actually want to search on or view at any time. And you can see here we've got this plist that is uh, coming up. And if we look at the bottom of the How to Spot panel, we can see the path directly to that file. So you can see here, screencasts online, library, preferences, com, apple, spotlight, plist. Now, because we have this new exclude panel, we can quite easily exclude items from the library. So I've just clicked on it, it's defaulted to library. But if there are other uh, directories or folders you want to exclude, you can select them from this drop down list as well. But uh, by saying that, we've taken away a lot of the uh, stuff that we're not really interested in. And then the limit section down here at the bottom defaults to a thousand most recently opened. But again, you can change these parameters by using these different. Uh, pop-up lists, so uh, recently created, recently modified, and recently opened, uh, along with least. But uh, we'll leave that as the default of a thousand most recently opened.